Uh, oh my goodness gracious. Ugh. Hey, what's going on guys? I apologize for all the moaning and groaning, but we are back today and I don't want to say it's a new series because I did the same series with my first daughter, Ella, um, but we are starting the pregnancy diaries. Now, this first episode is going to be a little bit different than the rest of them. I usually like to dedicate a full week. I usually sit down on like Friday or Saturday, film and edit and try to give you guys an update every Sunday. But for the first couple of weeks, because currently I'm in the process, like my whole family doesn't know at the moment um and i still haven't like had my doctor's appointment to get an exact due date and all that stuff um i still didn't want to miss out on the things that are happening <laughs> with my body this is a very detailed story uh series if you don't want to hear about what a pregnant woman's body does. I completely understand. No hard feelings taken, but that is what this series is all about. Um, I'll be showing you guys, you know, obviously the growth of my belly every week. I have some food with me, so I figured we could cover the first couple of weeks together. I am not sure how much I'm gonna be able to eat of this. I was literally just throwing up, which is so disgusting, but I haven't been able to hold anything down. So right this very moment, I'm on week seven of my pregnancy, um, or I think. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is until, you know, I announce it and I can start doing my regular once a week pregnancy diaries, I'm just gonna come on every week um, and just keep adding to this video. So this one's gonna kind of be a combination of a couple weeks and I hope you don't mind. Okay, so I went to Chili's to get some lunch because truthfully guys, I have not eaten much of anything over the past four days. I found out, um, I found out on Saturday morning and it's Wednesday. So not even a week later and the past like three days, three to four days, I have not been able to stop throwing up, which is normal, you know, morning sickness usually starts around six weeks. So that's one of the first things I wanna to touch on. Um, it's very obviously easy to get super excited about being pregnant, but you're really, you're really not gonna know unless you take obviously pregnancy tests or go to a doctor and get a pregnancy test done unless you're about six weeks in. You're really not gonna have like a lot of symptoms. And then once you do, they're not like anything crazy. I think the biggest thing for me is morning sickness. I remember I got really, I got really, really, really sick with Ella for three months, I'll know my numbers, three months straight I was sick with Ella. Now there is a difference between like normal sickness, normal morning sickness, and then like you probably should go to a doctor because getting sick too much is also bad for your health and it's bad for the baby as well because although my baby is still very, very, very small, actually it's the size of a sweet, no, it was the size of a sweet pea, but I think um, this week it doubled in size. I'm gonna show you, I have an app and everything. We're gonna get into that in this video. The baby doesn't need a ton of nutrients right now. I'm taking my prenatals and that's mostly why I'm trying not to throw up or like I'll take them a little tiny bit later in the day. So at least I have like the morning. If I need to get sick, I can get sick and then take my prenatals and at least those vitamins will still be in my system. So I'm really trying not to get sick, but you just, you do. Also, one straight, well, hi, we're eating. Um, <laughs> guys, I have to have no shame in this, and I shouldn't because it's normal and it's actually a really beautiful thing that's happening to my body. Um, usually, well, not usually, but some women can experience constipation as well as one of the first symptoms. Yo, your girl turns from constipation to lava to back to constipation. It's been a mess. Like I literally <laughs> sit on the toilet, get up and bend over the sink. <laughs> like I'm a mess coming out of both ends. It's, it's disgusting. I've had a rough couple of days, guys. The reason that I found out is because, you know, TJ and I had been trying for a year, oh, I should say 13 months, a year in another month. And in May, I like realized on my birthday, and my birthday was May 31st, the last day in May, I'm like, 
I don't think I ever got my period this month. So I ended up taking a test the next day because I didn't want to come back negative on my birthday. Although that would have been a fantastic um, birthday present, I wanted to wait until the morning. So I took a pregnancy test that next morning. I actually took two. And they, here they are, actually, because I showed my mama. But we have two positive tests. The second line is quite faint, but you can see it in person, I promise. They're both positive. My other symptoms at the moment, honestly, just kind of include irritability, which is probably just my personality. <laughs> I, I am running like a slight fever. I haven't checked in a couple of days. I was running a slight fever. It was like 100.4 or something like 100.4, not 104. It's a slight fever and that's normal. Your temperature could go up. And my boobs, you guys, hurt so bad. I hope family's not watching this. I hope my brothers aren't watching this. My boobs hurt so bad. Like, not today particularly. Even yesterday they were, they were okay. But like the two days before that, especially my left one, just hurt. They felt heavier. They felt fuller. They were not, it was not fun. So those are kind of like my symptoms at the moment. Now I want to show you, I'm sorry, I'm not eating a lot. I'm pacing myself because this is cute going down, but it's not so cute coming up. So I'm just trying to pace myself here. But I want to show you guys this app and it is amazing. So if you want to take a quick look, that is what the app looks like. So if you just go on the app store and like type in pregnancy, yes, I have RuneScape. <laughs> um, but if you go on the app store and just like type in pregnancy, that is the picture. That's the one that I use. Funny enough, that is the same app that I use for Ella, but they've upgraded. So I'm just gonna click on the app and then, you know, you put in all your information, you put in your due date. Now I put in my estimated due date that the OBGYN gave me on the phone. Again, I'm gonna get more accurate reading next week, but at the moment I believe that I just started week seven and I'm due around January 29th, 2020. So this is really cool. They didn't have this feature. They had pictures, but they didn't have this feature. So as soon as I log in, you can see that there's like a little picture of the fetus. Can you hear it? That's my little baby at the moment. <laughs> so you can spin it around. I know it's a glare, I apologize. You can spin it around, look at them. You can see the umbilical cord, placenta. You see it's a little baby heart beating. So it's really cool. So it does that for like every week. So, you know, as I update you guys, it's gonna look more and more like a baby. TJ says it looks like a Pokemon right now. <laughs> but that is my little baby, it looks just like me. So you can exit out of that and it's cool. It'll give you some information. So if I'm on the picture, it has a little info bar down here. Now, if I click on that, it pops up a couple things. So it'll tell me what this week, um, what happens during this week, during the baby's development. So it says the brain is developing fast, making your baby's head much larger in proportion to the rest of the body. So that's why its head looks so big at the moment because the brain is going. Um, the inner ear takes shape and the eyelids begin to develop. So you can kind of see that will be eventually my baby's eyes. And then, and then the last thing that's happening this week is cartilage formation. So you can see on the side of the baby's body, Oh, sorry. You can kind of see right here and like right down here. That's gonna be, that's cartilage. That's forming for arms and legs. Isn't that so cool? Some people get so skeeved out by that. I'm sorry, that is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So you can go, you know, you can put in a lot more information. It has a lot of useful information on this app. There are just a couple things I wanna show you. Baby sex, unknown obviously. You don't really find out the baby sex until 20 weeks after conception, which I think I would find out July. Maybe. I don't even know if I want to know right away. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So I have 34 weeks left, which is crazy because I literally just found out that I'm pregnant. Full trimester pregnancy goes for 40 weeks and I'm already down to 34. I didn't even know about it till four weeks. So it happens quick, guys. So you have the option to put in like your next appointment, your personal diary, um, tasks, to-do lists, current weight. Um, you actually want to Sometimes in in current cases, it's actually good to like gain weight for babies, especially if you're carrying twins. Um, doctors will recommend uh, like you gain weight during your pregnancy naturally, anyways. I think by the time I had Ella, 
I'm I'm normally I'm 110 pounds. I, Normally, I'm 118, 120 pounds. When I had Ella, I gained almost 20 pounds. I think I was almost at 140. I think I was like 138, something like that. So you do gain weight naturally. The cool thing is pregnancy hormones, your nails are gonna start looking better. It says, thanks to your pregnancy hormones, your nails may have looked even better. Increased levels of estrogen and progesterone may make your nails stronger and grow faster. I have acrylics. Actually, you know what? I did notice. I do have two that were off and I actually, they broke off, but I actually didn't notice that they were longer than usual. And then you have the option. If you scroll down even farther, there's another picture of the same baby. And if I click on it, it just gives me more in-depth information about the development. So right now it is um, 0.5 inches in length and it only weighs 0 0.02 ounces. Its size is the size of a blueberry. So it was the size of a sweet pea last week. So it's doubled in size and now it's a little blueberry. My baby's kidneys are starting to develop. The baby's eyes are visible and changing quickly. Their belly is starting to take shape as well. And then for my body, it says you're probably feeling the same like you did last week, tired, tender, and even a bit cranky. Don't worry, his socks are not gonna smell that bad forever. Just another 33 weeks ago. Morning sickness will come to an end soon, probably after week 13 when you enter second trimester. Your cervix is now sealed by a mucus plug that will stay put until labor or your cervix begins to dilate. You are now transferring neuro and oxygen to your baby via, via the umbilical cord and you may be noticing your genes are getting too tight. So quick, quick going back to symptoms real quick. Uh, let's see, tired, tender, and even a bit cranky. I talked about my breast being extremely tender. Um, I'm tired, I'm very tired. I've been literally going to bed right after I put Ella down at eight o'clock. So like eight, 8.30, 9 o'clock, I'm in bed already. And when it mentions his socks are not gonna smell that bad forever, they're, you know, referring to the partner. Um, but I did notice that, like I can, ugh, like some smells are just like not, sitting with me well right now. Um, the bathroom smells worse than usual. It's just, it's like not my bath, it's just going in to a bathroom. It smells worse than me. Like if I'm going to a, like a public restroom, that didn't come out right. Um, and your jeans may be getting a bit tight. Now I'm like super, I'm bloated. Um, you're really not gonna see any sort of baby bump until probably two to three months after pregnancy. If you had a baby before, you could show a little bit sooner than a new mom. Um, so I'm wondering if I'll show, but I am just really, really bloated. So I'll show, I'll still show you um, my tummy, but it's nothing, nothing exciting. Just move my chair out of my way real quick. So here is my belly. I mean, there's nothing to show you guys. I'm a little bit bloated, so it's a little like pooch going on right here um but it's not like you'll know when it's a baby bump because it is hard this you can squish down um when it's like a real baby bump it's very very hard so that is it for week seven um i will see you guys on week eight and we will continue i will let you guys know how i'm feeling again what other developments are happening with my baby and hopefully soon enough we can start a uh, kind of like a once a week per week sort of thing with the pregnancy diaries. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited to be doing this series again. I, I've waited a long time to do this. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, there was one more thing that I forgot to mention this week. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm just getting sick or if like, I don't know, my sinus is like, I have to keep like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but there was one more thing that I wanted to mention real quick. I forgot a symptom and the, I just remembered because it just started happening. Um, this didn't happen with Ella, so this is a new symptom, but like, I feel like I'm getting like hot flashes, like menopause. One second I'll be so hot, like dripping sweat hot, and then the next second I'm ice cold. So I have to like constantly adjust the heat. Even upstairs, like I'll be under a blanket and I'll be freezing cold, so then I'll put on a bathrobe on, to on top of that, and I'll be comfortable, and then I'll wake up in a sweat. Like I just, even driving home today, I had to like roll up the window, roll down the window, roll up the window, roll down the window because my body heat was just fluctuating like crazy. So that is a new symptom that I've never experienced. It's not fun, but I forgot.
I'm sorry. I know y'all, compared to last week, I look pretty rough right now and I feel pretty rough. It is the end of the day. I'm just, I was just crying because at this point, you guys would have already seen like my baby announcement because you know obviously that has to come up before the pregnancy diary starts um but i was just editing it and it was so hard to edit oh my gosh it was so emotional and like i don't like seeing myself cry on camera i really don't i know i have in the past and I've been kind of preventing trying to do that just because it is so embarrassing. Anyways, we are back. Um, technically, I messed up last week. I was six weeks pregnant, not seven weeks. So everything that I said still applied to six week to six weeks. I just got the week wrong. So that's why I have to come on here today because we need to do week seven. So again, I apologize. Everything that I just mentioned was correct for week six. I just, I said six instead of seven. And I got confused because the app that I'm using, I'll, I'll show you exactly why. Um, the app that I'm still using, you see right here, like it says week eight, but then if you look down here, where is it? It says I am seven weeks and two days pregnant. So that's what I need to be paying attention to, not that, and that's why I got confused last week. So yes, it does say eight, but I am seven weeks and two days pregnant. I have a lot to update you guys. I have a lot to update with you guys. Um, my first appointment is technically still next week. Um, I am planning on probably actually bringing my vlogging camera with you guys because um, I wanna get some sort of footage and I don't know if I'm gonna put it in this video or if you guys already saw it because I'm thinking about maybe putting it in the pregnancy announcement video. Um, either either way, you're gonna see, I, I really want to get a like a video of my first ultrasound and stuff and I want to make sure like my doctor is okay with that so hopefully I'll be able to get something but again we are back on week seven and I need to update you guys so first of all my due date at the moment is still January 29th that might change next week I'll keep you guys updated when I get a better idea of how far along I am um, but without actually going to a doctor it's still January 29th 2020 my baby is now the size of a raspberry <laughs> last week it was the size of a blueberry so it's grown a little bit and I will show you this is what they're looking like oh yay it's so cute oh my goodness so things are happening. Um, it's a little arms and legs are finally forming. Last week we just had like little nubs. So we definitely had some growth there. The main thing going on this week is again, the hands and the feet. Those are finally, um, it's saying tiny petal like structures are beginning to form, which will eventually become the hands and the feet. And then the eye development. Eyelids are almost complete. The iris is beginning to form, which will determine the baby's eye color. And then teeth buds also. Um, tiny teeth buds are developing under the gums and under the breathing tube, which connects with the lungs, um, which connects with the lungs is forming. So the baby doesn't actually take its first breath until they're born things things are moving so that's what's going on this week my, with my little nugget now let's talk about symptoms i can't even remember fully what i even talked about last week because i feel like this week i got hit with a semi truck guys when i was pregnant with ella my first daughter i had really bad morning sickness but keep in mind it was my first daughter it was my first pregnancy i thought getting sick all day every day for three months straight was normal i thought it was just morning sickness and the second time around it seems like my morning sickness has started a little bit sooner than it did with my daughter and like much more severely um this past week Today is the very first day that I have not thrown up once. Um, it was to the point where I couldn't hold down water. I was researching like crazy. I'm like, what can relieve morning sickness? It happened from the moment I woke up and it went all day. I couldn't even take Ella to the store because I was fearful of getting sick. And that's like how often it would happen. I even took her to this like splash play park. It was really hot one of those days. And we had to leave early because I felt like I was going to get sick. And as soon as I got home, guess what? I got sick. So it ended up getting to the point and I'm very like, 
I'm not against medication, definitely. I feel like they're very amazing things that can help you. Um, but I was afraid to reach out for medication because I'm pregnant, you know what I mean? I couldn't even take like ibuprofen. Um, but I did some research and I was trying to figure out what is normal morning sickness and what's not. And I happened to fall in like the 1% of pregnancies that deal with, um, I don't even know if I can pronounce it. I actually, um, it was on here too. It was crazy guys. I, what is a, um, morning sickness all day long. Oh, here we go. A severe morning sickness, hypermensis gravidarium something like that anyways it is very rare but it does happen and i happen to be one of those people it happens to morning sickness is not supposed to go all day every day um that's not normal it also can be really harmful um when you're throwing up all that like stomach acid one that one you're not retaining any nutrient nutrients your baby's gonna take what it needs first and then whatever is left over goes to the mom if I, i'm not giving my baby anything I'm not getting anything. So all week I was so incredibly like, I've never felt so drained of energy in my entire life. My mouth was so extremely dry because I was so dehydrated and I was getting worried because I couldn't even keep my prenatals down. So it got to the point of where, you know, I did my at home remedies. I tried to look it up. I tried eating saltine crackers. Those would come straight up. I tried sipping on juice all throughout the day that came up. Um, some people say like eating something sour actually helps. Um, I drink some lemonade that came up. <laughs> they said to try mints. I never tried the mints. I'm not like a big fan of peppermint to begin with. Um, so I never tried that. I don't know if that would have worked, but like, it seemed like everything I tried, I was miserable. And yesterday, thank God, TJ, it happened to be his day off. I was bed sick. I woke up, I woke up, I think my daughter was up by like no later than 7 a.m. I came downstairs, I tried to get ready. I didn't get ready, I just sat here and got sick. <laughs> um, and then they came down and I literally went back up to bed and I slept until almost one in the afternoon and then I got up again. But like all day I was just lying on the couch and I told TJ, I'm like, I am absolutely miserable and I don't think this is healthy for the baby. So I ended up calling my OBGYN and I am so grateful that I did. Now, quick disclaimer, I am gonna show some medication that I was recommended for morning sickness. I am not a doctor and every pregnancy is different. So please don't take my medication if you're dealing with this and say, oh, okay, now I know what to get. I know when to take it, how much to take it. Everything is gonna be fine and dandy. Please, please, please contact your own OBGYN and talk to them. Um, because like I said, every pregnancy is different. Every woman is different and I, do not want to be responsible for any, I don't know if you get the wrong thing, I just, please contact your doctor. But I will show you what they told me um, and it's worked wonders. So please, if you're going through really bad morning sickness, don't suffer through it. Even though it's such a normal part of pregnancy, it's not something that you just need to grin and bear. <laughs> My arrows inside. There's a difference between normal pregnancy um, symptoms and then when it just becomes not normal and it becomes harmful and prevents your baby from being able to thrive. So that's the point that I got to. So I called my doctor and it was super simple. Called my doctor and I just basically said, I can't hold anything down. I haven't been able to hold anything down for this past week, including water, including my prenatals, and this is what she said to get. And she said, if this doesn't work, then please call them back. But luckily, um, I started it, today was my first full day using it, but I started it have midway through yesterday, because um, that was a day that I first called them. So they recommended, the first thing was vitamin B6, and we just went to Rite Aid, and I'm only supposed to be taking the, um, let's see, it says 50 milligrams, but I'm only supposed to be taking 25. So 
They said if you could only find 50, that was fine. They're teeny tiny, but you just cut them in half. So I have to take one of these pills a day, but I cut it in half and I take half of it in the morning and then I take the other half at night, um, preferably with food. So as soon as I have my breakfast, I take my prenatals and I take um, this B6 vitamin. Also, I was at work the other day um, this is kind of like off topic, but I was at work the other day and I was discussing with my coworkers how bad my morning sickness was getting and that my, like what my doctor recommended and there happened to be like a pregnant customer and she's like, oh my gosh, like B6 worked wonders for me. Um, she also recommended something else and I don't remember the name of it and that's okay because again, I am not prescribing you anything, um, but she said B6 worked wonders. So again, I take one of these a day and then <laughs> The other thing, there was um, two options she gave me. One was the Unisom and one was, I, I wrote down the two options on a piece of paper, but I don't think I have it anymore. It was Unisom or like Bi Bionin, Binin, something like that, something like that. She said one or the other with B6, not all, not all three. Um, but this is a sleeping tablet and I take this um, toward the evening, of course, because it does make me kind of groggy. Um, but once again, these are teeny tiny and again, the dosage is 25 um, milligrams. So they're very, 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 very small and these two combined today, like I indulged. <laughs> I probably like I still should be eating, you know, small meals. I can't sit there and eat a three course meal. Um, but today was the first day that I was actually able to enjoy the foods that I normally eat. I felt so good just to be able to eat. I was able to drink. I feel so much better. My energy is still not fully there. Like I'm still very, very tired, but I'm getting back into the groove of stuff. Um, so I'm so excited because I truly thought this was going to last until my second trimester in July. And we have kind of bit that bullet in the butt so i'm so excited that's basically the main thing going on my uterus at this point is the size of an orange so um my clothes are fitting a tiny bit tighter a lot of my clothes like i can't have anything that's too tight on my stomach because it like kind of hurts um but let me bring you guys down a little bit you're not really gonna see much um i happen to be wearing these pants that come up like mid-rise um and then just this striped shirt but like there's i mean there's no baby belly yet you know what i mean but like right here it's not it's it's not as flat as it normally is and as i press down a little bit like it's not super squishy. It's not as squishy as it was <laughs> last week. Like I can, hi bud. I can feel a little bit of like tightening here. So really nothing to see. Um, but like I said, I can't really wear super tight pants anymore. It's not that comfortable. So that was week seven. I'm gonna assume that week six, seven, and eight are all gonna be in this um, pregnancy video because again next week is my um, uh, first appointment and then after that I'm planning on doing pregnancy diaries um, just one week at a time hopefully we'll start seeing a little belly grow soon I'm so excited so um, I will see you guys in another week I'm gonna go finish my food because I finally can and probably just hop in the shower and get this uh, makeup off my face so I'll see you guys soon okay so we are on week eight and I know that obviously this layout is a little bit different than week six and seven. Oh, I, this pregnancy is so different than Ella's. I have been struggling so bad with morning sickness. Like I showed you guys a medication that was given to me last week, the vitamin what was it B B6 and then the Unisom? I think I need to switch the Unisom to something else because I've been having like really strange and messed up dreams that have been affecting my sleeping. And then like for the first like three or four days of being on the medication, everything was great. I was able to eat what I wanted. I felt normal. Still very low on energy, but like 
I was able to hold stuff down and now all of a sudden like the past couple of days like since my last update with with this video I've been so sick all over again and yesterday I had my first appointment and I thought I remember with Ella with my first appointment we got an ultrasound we didn't get an ultrasound this time with the first appointment um they wanted to do blood work and i had an anxiety attack because if i'm not prepared for blood work my body just reacts i break out in hives my body temperature goes up so my doctor didn't didn't want to do that because she didn't want to like stress me out so within the next three weeks i'm gonna go to a lab and have blood work done um but like if i mentally prepare myself for it like it's still not great but like I'm a little bit better. I can cope with it a little bit better if I know what's coming. Um, and they did like a urine sample and stuff. Like honestly, the first appointment was pretty much just um, going over my medical history, my husband's medical history and our families. And like, we, I haven't met any of my doctors. I'll meet my doctor. We meet one of my doctors for the first time in my next appointment, I believe in July. Um, and they're gonna do like everything like I, I don't know if they're doing an ultrasound then either I think I asked the doctor or the lady that I ta first talked to when my first ultrasound was and I don't remember how, she, how, she, how far along she said um, but I thought that was a little bit bizarre because usually I don't know I feel like everybody always has like the, the ultrasound with like the little tiny baby the same one that I had with Ella but I don't know they didn't do it this time I don't know but I'm literally in bed right now and I ended up calling my mother-in-law because yesterday was TJ's day off like today I believe today I'm eight weeks and two days pregnant and I'm sorry this time I'm not going to be able to show you the app because I'm on my phone right now I have no energy I mean none I could get 12 hours of sleep and still wake up completely exhausted and that's why I'm in bed right now because I'm trying to nap um and like i've just been up chucking absolutely everything and i so i called my mother-in-law and i said you know tj had yesterday off so like he was able to help me and like entertain ella and i don't know just kind of you know be like a second parent there you know what i mean today he goes back to work so i was on my own and i'm like I don't want Ella to be stuck in the house again with a sick mom. Like, I can't even, like, we're going to go grocery shopping. I couldn't even get myself, like, I've started to get ready. I still didn't, like, I didn't finish bronzer. Like, when I was almost done, I was like, I feel so sick. The ring light was giving me such a headache. I was, like, just so over trying to get ready for the day because I just didn't want to. Um, so then my next plan was to just take her grocery shopping. And then I started getting sick all over again. And it sucks, like, when your kid wants to play with you. Like, she's been asking me to play all morning or, like, go outside. And I'm, like, I can't even, like, not even being dramatic. Like, I, I don't have the energy. And then I'm afraid to go out because I feel like at any second I'm going to get sick. And I've done everything, guys. I've been eating dry cereals. I haven't been eating fluids with meals. Like, I try to eat meals and fluids separately. Um what else i've been sniffing lemon um for some reason that helps some pregnant woman and it like helped a little bit but like it didn't really last that long i've been trying to eat bland foods like crackers i can't even hold that down and like i'm afraid to call my doctor because i'm afraid that they're just gonna like put me on an iv drip because of dehydration so if anything i've been just trying to increase my fluid intake i tried drinking a little bit of ginger ale they said ginger helps that for some reason, my, I am not coping with ginger ale at all right now. Um, so when TJ gets home tonight, we're going to go and try to switch my Unisom to Bonin. Bonin? Some, it's it's B-O-N-I-N-E. Um, to get me off of a sleeping aid and onto a... Um, it's a motion sickness thing. So I'm hoping that'll help. I've also started to take my prenatals at night because every morning I'd take them and they'd come back up. Um, so instead I'm taking them at night so that way I can like sleep with them in my system. 
Um, but at the moment, I am struggling. <laughs> On week eight, I am struggling. They say that morning sickness should pass by, I think, week 12. So hopefully, you know, I only have four weeks at the most, but that's another month. And to do this every day for a month is not gonna work. So like I said, today, I'm supposed to be going to work for a little bit. I'm gonna talk to the manager and let them know that I can come in tomorrow instead of today. I have like flexibility like that, which is great. So I'm going to go in tomorrow. I'm going to dedicate today to trying to find a better mix of medication. Like just what, you know, what was recommended to me by my doctor. I'm not going to play with medication. Um, but yesterday, you know, I got a ton of information on pregnancy and stuff. Um, which I already knew a lot of it because obviously I've been through this once already. But, you know, with Ella, I remember the morning sickness. Like, I was still going to work and I was working full time. Like, I remember working from like 8 to 3 shifts or even doubles, like 8 to 8.30 shifts. And, like, I remember being in the bathroom and getting sick on occasion. But my energy was still up and I was like able to get up and get ready you know like not like every day but it wasn't like this like this is miserable <laughs> this is so miserable so anyways at the moment um I have announced my pregnancy and everything so everybody knows um including Ella of course so that's off my chest so now I can actually hope excuse me, I can actually try to like, maybe ask people for advice on what to do. Um, Because I'm not quite sure. But let me know. I mean, I know comments are still it's still hard to get in touch with me with my videos. But um, still, please let me know if like you struggled with this, if anything helped you get through your morning sickness. And all I got to do is like remind myself that this is not gonna last forever. And, like, this is so worth it. You know what I mean? I tried for this baby for over a year. And, like, I'm not mad that I'm going through this. I just, I, I need to figure out a way to get past it. Because this pregnancy is different. Not only in my severity of my symptoms. But, like, I have a toddler that also needs me to be there for her. You know what I mean? I can't be in bed all day. So, you know, I'm sorry that I don't really have, like, a true update about this week um i'm pretty you know not not much has changed the baby's still developing um but symptoms wise nothing has changed again except just i'm miserable i'm absolutely miserable so i'm gonna try to take a quick nap so i love you guys so much um now that my pregnancy is announced like, this will be the end of the first preg pregnancy diaries. So, from this moment on, like, I should be posting weekly updates. Um, so, thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of Pregnancy Diaries. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be able to figure this out soon. And next week, I'll be back to feeling myself. Ah, <sighs> Fingers crossed. This will be over soon. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> But if you did enjoy the first three weeks of my pregnancy diaries, please leave a thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss any new videos, hit that subscribe button down below. Hopefully, we'll be on a more regular basis of uploading soon. This right here is the reason I haven't been uploading that much, and I apologize for that. I hope you guys understand, and I love you. I'll see you guys soon.